Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus9 from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be finishing up the Teco L510S drive where we're going to be setting out the drive today in remote control using the MOP speed control which is two buttons up and down speed control and also going to be a exploring a multi-frequency setup as well so in case you haven't seen the last two videos where we say commission the drive and run in the local mode and then we did the second video where we uh, did the two wire control three wire control both of those videos are going to be in the description below and anything else uh, when it comes down to manuals and uh, any other related videos and part numbers and things like that all of them are going to be in the description below so without further ado let's get started <music> Here we go ladies and gentlemen, the first station of this video is set up which is going to be our MLP control and that will look like that. We're going to have a uh, run forward, run reverse and we're also going to have two buttons, the speed going up and speed going down. There's some, uh, quite a few changes we need to make that to happen, so uh, I shall get you uh, through them now with you. So first things first, we need to change, make sure that the um, run mode and uh, 0004, this guy, is changed to 0. So let's get out of that one. And then 05 is changed to 4, which is basically it's a frequency you'll be reading for up and down buttons. So that's pretty much what that represents. And then we need to re reconfigure uh, some uh, uh, IOs. So uh, we need to make sure that uh, S3 and S4, both of them are, uh, one of S3 is an uh, up, the up as a frequency, accepts up frequency, and S4 is a down frequency. So to do that, so we need to go to, again, for uh, group three, where the IOs are. And oh, that's not what we wanted to do. So if we go for S2, it's on eight. And uh, it actually the zero two represents S3 and zero three represents S4. And that is at zero nine. That will be a speed reference go down. So now and that. And we moved our uh, uh, quick stop to S5. So, and now we'll enter that one in there as 14. So that's pretty much uh, how we set this one up. And that is all you really need to do. Your, uh, uh, the, the button uh, sensitivity very much will depend on your acceleration and the acceleration times. So uh, the smaller the acceleration time, the uh, faster, the, the much more reactive the buttons are gonna be. And I'm gonna show that in a minute. So the wiring, Again, so uh, our uh, uh, source signal, which is 24 volt signal, comes to the back of the first normally open contact, which is our uh, rapid stop signal, it goes back to S5, and then it distributes the power to all the other uh, normally open contacts. And then uh, the uh, run forward is S1, run, for, uh, run reverse is S2, uh, speed up will be S3, and speed down will be S4. And that's pretty much how that wiring is working. So let me put the cover on and I'll quickly talk you through how that runs and I'll show you how uh, the uh, sensitivity of the buttons work as well. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, the cover is on. So there we go. So that is how what it look like. So uh, once you put in the run mode, as you can see, it's looking for the frequency and now it will be responding to these up and down buttons. And these button sensitivity is very much determined by uh, up in the, uh, the acceleration and the acceleration. So uh, if your acceleration is one second, it will be reacting exactly the same to that. The higher the acceleration line, acceleration, the less uh, the, 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 the sensitivity is going to become a lot smaller. So uh, high, ex uh, high acceleration will take a lot longer time you'll be holding it down. Like now it goes really quickly because it has got one second, but if it's uh, 10 seconds, it'll take a lot longer to go up and obviously, and then we got the same thing, we can go in reverse and things like that. But there's a bit more to it. So uh, if you can see down there, my frequency has been saved. It's been saved because it's been set in a parameter to do so. And that is in a parameter, oop, and that is in a parameter uh, 0307. As you can see down here, up and down frequency modes. 
So at the moment, my frequency is held. Okay, so one frequency is held as the, as the inverter stops and the up and down frequency function is disabled. So basically, frequency will stay and I can't change the, the speed, speed unless the run signal is on. Second, the uh, option one, that was option zero. Uh, option one will be where the pressure frequency is reset to zero as the inverter stops, if you wish that to go to zero. And if you wish to change frequency without uh, running and then put in run mode, you select option two. By that, you'll be able to up and down frequency and then uh, you'll be able to put uh, in the run mode if you wish to. That's for much more precise speed control if you wish to. But the one more thing we're gonna check out is this one, this is the up and down frequency band, which is 0306. What does that do? It basically, it, uh, let's just uh, go into it and just, uh, it basically, what it does, let's check. In here, you can select how much each, how, what sort of frequency will go up by every push. And the maximum is obviously five, as you can see, it's five hertz. But let's say we want a, uh, let's put down one hertz at a time. So and then we save that and end it, and then say, and uh, save it and have a look at it. Oop. So now, when we are gonna be in a run mode, as you can see, by clicking it, it will do exactly what you told him to do. One hertz, and he can be super high precise if you wish that to be the case. You can go zero, you can, you can go 1.01 .01 of a frequency up if you wish that to be the case. So that's pretty cool if you really want to know, want to control your frequency really, really, really precisely. And if you hold the button long enough, it will just go back to what it's supposed to do anyway. As you can see, and obviously that is. Uh, if you are both are on, they are both conflicting with each other. Nothing's going to happen as soon as one of them, uh, the, one of them, has to disappear. So here we go, and that will go into reverse. And plus, we have uh, that uh, option for a e-stop. So that, ladies and gentlemen, it is for a uh, up and down uh, frequency control. Hopefully, that is helping you out to, to get this set up for you. And uh, next, let's have a look how to get this thing going in a multi-frequency setup. As for the motor frequency, this is the station we are going to be using. We have a uh, run, speed one, two, and three. Uh, corresponding buttons is going to be a bit different. I'm going to show that in a minute, but you uh, sort of understand, uh, you will understand in a minute how, why is what. So the run signal is a definitely a signal that is required for any of the speeds to work. So that's that's something that if you if you, even if you put speed one on, nothing's going to happen unless. The run signal it is there, and that run signal actually works as a normal forward signal, and can be a uh, frequency can be controlled from some form of potentiometer. In our case, I have set our parameter 0005 to. Let me just show that for you. I just go in mode. Uh, we're just gonna go in uh, across. And then we're gonna go oh, again and zero zero five. As I set that to one, and that pretty much will allow me to control my run signal potentiometer from here. So if you want to control it from externally, select that to two, and you'll be able to control it from here. So, but I usually don't use that because I like to have my run signal independent, and then I go through my speeds. But some people prefer it, so that's pretty much how you would. Uh, do that. So, and when it comes down to uh, multi frequency, you pretty much. Uh, I'm not going to show you the how it uh, all the all, all done in drive. I'll show you in a page. You need to select to make sure that your uh, multi function the, the, the terminal S3 is set to two. S uh, S2 um, uh, uh, S3 is set to two. S4 is uh, set to three. And if you want more more speeds than three. You can select that, that S4, S, or the S5, 2, 4. So that way you will get all the way up to 7 speeds. And that is not including the speed that you can get from potentiometer, which can be set as well as a minimum speed. So basically, roughly 8 speed you can get and that's exactly uh, how we are going to do it. And uh, regarding uh, when it comes down to a, uh, a preset speed, they are all in here. There usually is a graph that would show how those speeds are uh, uh, selected, but this guy doesn't have it, or at least I can't find it in a, in a, in a drive. And if you can see down here, there is a uh, whole lot of acceleration, the accelerations down there, which you can actually preset for the, each individual speed, provided you selected the 500 
to zero or one. One will have individual acceleration acceleration time. And that is something I have never seen any other drive have it before. So it's very, very interesting. So uh, let me put the cover on and we go from there. Here we go, cover is on. So let's uh, leave this. So right, if, there we go, we go in the run mode. If we go in the run mode, it's looking for the set point. And from there on, if you really want to just control this, uh, you don't, you, let's say, you don't need those speeds at the moment, you just want to control where the potentiometer, that option is there. As you can see, control that with potentiometer. As remember, we have selected our uh, 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 frequency source for uh, to one at zero 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 five uh, parameter. So, but if you are let's say and you say you know what I actually want my set speed. Boom! If you click that, it will override. It will override at the main uh, the run uh, speed and run the pre-selected speed. So it sort of takes the priority. So uh, let's just reduce that one down to nothing. So that's speed one. Take that off. That's speed two. Remember, we, we always have to be in run mode to be able to select speeds. And speed three is actually two buttons together. The so speed one, speed two would be the speed three. So you would sort of wire in the back if you only need three speeds. But we want a lot more speeds than that. So if we go turn these off and put this one on, that's our speed four. And that is our speed five. That's our speed six. And that's our speed seven, which all of them needs to be uh, set up in there. And there we go. This is our, a, uh, uh, call it a semi-emergency stop. But there we go. And that's how multi-frequency is set up. So that will conclude the drive itself. Of course, there is a lot more in the drive itself. But these are the most uh, common uh, uh, setups that uh, most people use for. So uh, I'm hoping that with this setup, it gets you, uh, gets you where you want to get and uh, helps you out. So uh, if you liked the video, ladies and gentlemen, please smash that like. Uh, if you didn't, smash the dislike. Comment below what you like, what you don't like, because uh, any comments down below uh, that uh, uh, you would uh, uh, type. Uh, it's, it's the key ones, I think, the mostly is, is if you let me... If you let me know that the, the, the message is getting across, that the key is to get the message across, and I need to know if that is definitely happening. So uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.